This is the South Florida of today, beautiful and fast paced. But this story begins in South Florida's more humble times in 1951 when Edward Lewis Allen opened his barbecue restaurant Shorty's on what is now US 1 in Kendall. Edward, who stood 5'3", was nicknamed by everybody Shorty. Born in Macon, Georgia, he had dropped out of school in the 7th grade and took a job for $3 a week slaughtering cows for a living. Shorty might have been content to make ranching his life, but he read about a tropical paradise called Miami and became fascinated. He steadfastly saved his money, bought a truck, and in 1926, at the age of 19, moved to South Florida. Initially in South Florida, he worked many jobs. Eventually, he decided to take over the running of a bar on Bird Road. The bar business proved to be not one of Shorty's likings, especially since he had faced an attempted robbery. It wasn't long after the attempted robbery at the bar that Shorty decided to build his own business, the now famous restaurant. Built in 1951 in South Miami, this area, which is well known by South Floridians today, had no metro rail, no Dadeland Mall, and more importantly, no air conditioning. But it did have a unique neighbor the barracks for German prisoners of war. Also, keeping in mind that US-1 was still only a two-lane street lined by packing houses and groves. Even with all these issues for Shorty's location, it didn't take long in the 1950s for Shorty's to become a destination restaurant in South Florida. I'm with Diane, a longtime customer of Shorty's here down in Kendall. Now, first of all, we were talking before taping the segment. You said you've been coming to Shorty's since the place almost opened. You've been coming here since day one. Absolutely. How did that happen? Uh, we're, we're native Miamians, and my parents lived in the south end of town and like barbecue. When you start eating Shorty's, you don't stop. Now, what are some of your best I guess memories of coming to this restaurant and while Shorty was here? Uh, the best memories um, the ribs first of all and the memorabilia it's always had interesting things along the wall on the tables uh, you bring your friends it's reasonably priced and the food is good. If there was something that you would tell your friends about you know Shorty himself what would you tell them? Shorty was a good businessman. He was honest. He gave good value with his food. Well, how, how long have you been coming to the restaurant? How many years? 62 years. 62 years you've been coming to the restaurant. This Absolutely. restaurant's been open almost that long. So you've been years. here since day one when the doors were first opened. You were basically coming, your parents brought you here. My parents brought me here when I was an infant. And I brought my children my grandchildren and we enjoy it the food has been consistent and that's important you've got some of the same wait staff for 20 30 years have you ever tried to maybe cook the food like he does try to do it for yourself i have bought the sauce i can't cook the ribs like he does but when you put the sauce on it's shorty sauce now, from what I understood, you know, obviously he was short, he was like 5'3", yeah. right? But he was a dynamo. He had a presence. And when you met him, you knew him, and you didn't forget him. He died at 104 years old, staying strong almost all the way till the last year of his life. So that was something unique. Absolutely. I had not seen him in many, 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 many years. But I remember when I was younger and used to come in and he was here and... If there was one particular meal you're going to have tonight that's one of your favorite meals, what would that be? Shorty's ribs. I mean, that's consistently the most popular item on the menu. I had to ask about the importance of the coupon. You don't well, come to Shorty's unless you have a coupon. <laughs> okay. You can now you download them off the internet. Right. But if I didn't have one of those in my purse and, and we decided on the spur of the moment to come to Shorty's, we wouldn't come. We'd either go home, get a coupon, 
get one from a neighbor, a friend. Um, my brother-in-law happens to be the editor of the Miami Herald. And they always had coupons, so I would beg, borrow, or steal the coupons. All right, so it was a good marketing tool that got everybody in here. Absolutely. You're watching the story of Shorty and Shorty Allen's restaurant. Just making chicken and licking on the fingers all day.